For only pennies a day, you too can take your old college roommate fishing in a small river in a tiny boat. <laughs>
on a couple of river floats where we didn't really take into consideration that the wind was blowing the opposite direction that we wanted to go and it was before we were using the motor and that turns into a lot of rowing so you know take a look at what direction the wind is going another thing that's kind of important to have is you always want to have an anchor and anchor from the front of the boat if you try to anchor from the back you've got all that water pushing up the stern of the boat anchor from the front that way if the anchor does get stuck behind a rock or something you've got a fighting chance to get the boat up past it so you can get the anchor out so yes weather anchor those are another two important things that you have to consider when you're doing the small river stuff in a small craft the fun part of this the tackle we really want to slim down what we're bringing we don't have a ton of room in here so uh, you know max i would recommend two rods a person we've each got a musky rod you know sort of on that light to heavy or a medium heavy to heavy rods um, i'm using the surgical strike nate's got a swat so that's medium heavy that's extra heavy it allows us to throw the smaller baits that we're typically using uh, in a river situation now that doesn't mean you couldn't throw pounders out here you certainly could but uh, springtime in these smaller rivers we tend to lean towards the smaller side of baits glide baits like the mini tap dancer smaller medusas small bucktails as well dive and rise little suix this is a navin this has been a really hot one for us uh, this little guy this lee lures pelagic that has been the rock star for us uh, as far as getting fish to hit uh, it's not hooking fish up, but I don't blame the bait. That's me being dumb or the fish being dumb, I guess, however you want to look at it. But uh, those little swim lures, small dive and rise. And as the water temps get a little bit higher, a top water, like a little sister or top raider, whatever you have, um, even the small whopper ploppers, those are fantastic. Not only can you get muskies, but it, uh, you get the occasional pike or the smallmouth, would help, which helps to break up the monotony that sometimes comes with musky fishing. Uh, we definitely, we've got a couple of bass rods in here just to, uh, to break up that monotony. That's kind of fun to deal with the smallmouth up here too. So yeah, that is the scaled down version of what we have out here for tackle when we're doing these small river floats. Now, as far as patterning these fish, you can look for the eddies that you would usually look for. We've found some fish in slack water, but we've also found some fish in some real fast moving water. And I found the best way to deal with that is to you know, get past a spot and cast at a 45 degree angle back and bring the bait back. It's a little tough with blades, but like with that Lelure's Pelagic and some of the other baits, that cast back at a 45, Corey Olson taught me that tactic. and. It moved a ton of fish for us in the last two days um, of going past the spot and making casts back and bringing your bait back with the current because those fish are usually headed into the current so that bait comes over its head and it comes up and hits it. Other than that, sometimes they're a little sporadic too. We found fish in places that we did not think they would be. The biggest fish we saw was in two feet of water. So just keep casting man just keep putting baits in places that look good if it looks good there could be a fish sitting there so uh, i don't mean to make it sound like let the fish tell you what to do sort of situation but you just have to cast at everything and eventually a pattern will show itself i almost forgot to mention on these little boat floats you need um, some manual labor could use a little help here <laughs> no you're doing fine looks good good work all right ladies and gents I apologize for not having a better fishing experience for you. Uh, it really, after yesterday, I really thought we were gonna hammer them out here. We did have a shot at a nice one. But uh, in lieu of that, you get to see what we're fishing out of. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We are going up to northern Wisconsin in a couple weeks here. We've got some other stuff planned. Lake St. Clair is in the mix. And who knows? I don't know. Maybe Canada will open this fall. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right, everybody. I appreciate every single one of you watching. I really and truly do. And I will see you on the next video.